When we had our first son, we were told really clearly that for his safety we should sleep him on his back. And since the early 90s, that's been common practice largely due to a really strong public health campaign called Back to Sleep. There was such a strong push because up until that point, most kids were slept on their tummies. There was strong advice from experts and parenting books that said it was the safest thing for parents to do. But according to a 2008 article in the British Medical Journal, if researchers had done a systematic review in 1970, there was already compelling evidence that sleeping kids on their tummies increased the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. 25 years before it became common practice, researchers had convincing evidence that sleeping children on their backs saved lives. So much so that if the public health campaign was initiated back then, it would have saved 50,000 babies in the US, Australia and the UK alone. This teaches us two important things. Knowing the truth about what works can have powerful ramifications. Tummy sleeping doesn't work, despite logical arguments from experts that it does. And the best way to find out the truth was a good systematic review that included all of the evidence. But the second lesson is that it can take a long time for things that are part of the scientific consensus to be translated into practice. It's impossible for practitioners to critically evaluate all the science about what works while also working at the coalface. They need help to distill the literature into key findings and translate it into practice. But what does this have to do with teaching at a university? Some of the things we teach might not be as impactful as saving 50,000 babies, but a lot of what we do is designed to try to make the world a happier, healthier place. The problem is that the stuff we teach doesn't improve the world if students don't remember what we're teaching them or they don't finish their degrees. For just one example, at ACU, we actually teach midwifery students about sleeping babies on their backs. But how they're taught will predict how well they translate this into practice. What students are taught is obviously important, but of equal importance is how students are taught. How do we academics know what actually works to improve learning or to keep students engaged? Like with tummy sleeping, there are lots of experts and books with strong arguments for what works in higher education, a lot of which is really useful. But ultimately, we think the best way to know what's working in education is a systematic review that synthesizes all of the best evidence. These reviews can be complex, and there are so many out there that it's impossible to stay on top of it all while juggling your usual teaching, let alone everything else that you do. Like doctors and midwives, many of us academics need help distilling the literature into key strategies that work so we can better focus our attention where it's most important. This is what Inspire hopes to do for you. We translate the most reliable knowledge about what works in higher education into simple tools for us academics to use in practice. We want to make using systematic reviews in your practice as easy and as helpful as possible. We'll help you combine your expertise with evidence-based practice, allowing you to tailor the most effective interventions into your context. We want to help you focus on what works and avoid what doesn't so you can get the outcomes that you care about most.